Morning, y'all. Do you like my new shirt? Uh, warning, this course did and will beat you up. So lots of people liked my two six iron video last week, or whenever it went up. Um, so I got two six irons in the bag. Let me go and get it actually. So I've got an AP1 six iron, which is slightly longer in length, slightly stronger in loft. So it basically works with my five iron. But when I did the video on it last time, we didn't show any numbers. Uh, what? So I'm going to go to Torquay today, hit a few shots on the launch one, I'll show the numbers in relationship to the five iron that I've put out of my bag. I just think this is such a good fitting message and it's also such a good chunky to not chunky iron message as well, which kind of goes round and round in circles. Um, yeah, two six irons, is that what you meant to do? We're gonna do some six iron testing there. Okay. You were part of my decision of choosing that six iron. Yeah. My double six irons. People wanted the numbers. I've done the test on the course to show people, but they actually wanted the numbers, so let's deliver them some numbers to show them what that six iron is okay. doing. So this is my CB, original five iron. Okay, yeah. Let's gather a few numbers on this, and then I'll show you the exact numbers compared to my beefcake second six iron. So since you've put them in the bag, the new one, the new one, how are you feeling with it? I want to hit it. It's something you, you that draws you to want to pull it out of the bag? Yeah, not that I've hit many good shots of it, which I'll see when we go to America, but that wasn't the club, I would say that's more. Mm. My, I didn't hit many good shots with many of my approach plays. Um, but I actually want to pull it, and I'm more happy to pull it out of things like semi-rough, where this club used to worry me out of semi-rough, because anything high just is completely dead yeah. on it. It's, it's like listening to, you, listening to you talk and listening to when you're making your decision on club selection when we're out in the States. Yeah. I would say that in the past it was always when you were pulling the five iron, you were always umming and ahhing. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. It was I didn't want it to really come out. Yeah. I wanted to hit my rinky, and that still is the case. I don't think anything will ever be my 23, but I definitely am more keen to pull my six stroke five iron than I've ever been. Yeah. So there's four pretty decent to average hits. If we look at the numbers on those. So 16 launch. 5.6 spin with a 5 iron, averaging carry 177, so I'm going to hit that about 185, so averaging 188, you know, it's a, I'm going to hit it 190 if I want to whack it, and then I'm going to start going into my, my 23. Yeah. Decent, good numbers, and you know, I feel like the way I hit that um, was pretty good. Yeah. So I'm changing things still at the minute because I'm not practicing. I've got to find something that's repeatable at the moment. And hitting this little fade is what I want to see with my approach. That's when I play my approach play best. Yeah. It's not my longest, but it's my most accurate yeah. with okay length. And the dispersion on that, I mean, look at it. I'll be one sh right. I mean, it's really tight. Yeah, it's tight. Yeah, it's good. So if I compare that, I mean, if I show you these two, so it's definitely it's a better step towards a hybrid because it starts chunking up more. Yeah, certainly a lot thicker top line. Yeah, which makes me feel I can play it for more lice. Mm. Obviously that, you know, I'm going to be hitting this club a lot from fairways and semi and rough. Yeah. I'm going to be 200, 180 out. And, uh, Just you know. show me the back of those clubs there, because obviously you mentioned about hitting it high on the face with that five iron. So we got more of a cavity that runs all the way round. Yeah, so a little bit more help yeah. to support the top. And it's a taller club head, so it's like a, a groove taller oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. club head. Yeah. To anything high on this semi rough is just literally you might as well just hit a seven iron well. Yes. And length? Where are they in length? Well, it's been hard because I've not hit it enough on the course. As in, I mean course. the length of the shaft, sorry. Oh, sorry, yeah. So compared to my five iron, it's half inch longer. Okay. Because I'm trying to squeeze the length out of it. Yeah. So you know me as well. I mean, I, the length of shaft doesn't really affect my strike pattern no. that much, so I should really go for the you longest. You just react to whatever you've got in your hand, hand, yeah. Manage, really. So I'm going to try the same kind of shots, but this is now my beefcake six iron. Oh, 
that's horrible, eh? So the drop off's still there, and if you look at that one, that's 166 carry because I hit it horrible. So it doesn't matter how beefy the club are, if you hit a bad shot, you hit a bad shot. Yeah. And when you say you struck it badly, where really where low you hit and that? a bit healy. Okay. Like, just, you know, when people say we hit it at the middle all the time, I think, well, oh, you have not watched me play. <laughs> See, that's Toey. Two pretty bad hits, that's 165 as well. That's still a line ball though, that's yeah. still on it. That's my delivery rather than, do you know what I mean? Mm. What that is doing. I just think the drop offs, when I've noticed is the drop offs are just, it's the high one where you might get a few less drop offs. Yeah. Because you can get a bit of a low spin bomb ball with these. Hit one six seven. I will keep hitting until I hit a proper one. <laughs> and have you noticed anything out of the course with low to lower spin with this club? No, I haven't had a flyer. No. Again, not hit it enough, but everything sh the length to short, nothing's gone long. And that's how I play my hands as a general rule. Does that make sense? I'm yeah. never, I never. I hate irons. Like when I play with Matt, he flies greens. I'm like, wow, that's really like I don't play like that. All my shots are online to short. Obviously, everyone hits the wrong club and goes long sometimes. But he, he hits an eight iron. All of a sudden, ten yards further, than he hits an eight iron, and he's over the back. The the other one is, you know, when you get to like a par three and you tee it up. Yeah. Um, have you had to adjust with that? I mean, do you tee it fractionally lower no, at all? No, I would always that? tee it very low with this all the other Because I see that with a lot of amateurs, you know. Yeah, they get on a par up, three yeah. and they, they tee it a bit high. Yeah, yeah, I agree. There we go, I'm starting to make some better shots now. Cool, I'll try and get two more of those where you can compare the numbers. Yeah. So you've seen me hit this club a bit on the course. Peak height, where do you reckon the peak height's going to be? I know I'm going to yeah. say this is higher than the five iron. But I have you been burnt with this comment before? Well, I have, but I, I mean, I, I think there was one situation when you were out, when we were out in the states, and I think you might see it on the vlog. But I think I, comment, I commented to say how much higher it yeah. was. Was it 16 at Bethlehem? That was the yeah. one going up the hill where up you needed hill, height yes. and that was exactly the situation. I thought my old five, I'd always hit my rinky and really done something there rather than my five round going in a bit low. I'm looking forward to seeing the numbers because I agree, I definitely feel like this is peak heighting higher. That's a medium hit. So just drop down again a little bit, a bit low on the face. So I'm I'm expecting this to launch higher. Yeah, I, I, spin I'm a definitely fraction launch. lower, but obviously peak out higher. That's what I'm I'm expecting to see from it. I reckon it will launch a degree higher, peak a yard or two higher. Yeah. Spin similar. Okay. Because I reckon I'm presenting similar dynamic loss. I've got two decent on it, one more try and get three, which are like my decent hits. The rest of them have been very scuzzy. Trouble when you're trying to think of different ideas, you then your strike just jumps, doesn't it? Yeah. Liney, isn't it? Just dropping to the right. Oh, don't get on the line. Not with a carry back iron. Get left. You can get right. No, I don't want it to hit the line. Oh. It's like you don't want to get all in one, it's isn't it? Embarrassing, in isn't it? Situation. Oh, don't go in. That's going to cost me a fortune. <laughs> yeah. Right. So definitely, on my strike was starting to disperse more. But again, I would never. It's always thinking. I would never see that as the club. That's me. So I'm going to get rid of some ones that I would discount on the course, like hands off the club, just because I want to see. So I'm going to disable... Well, actually, if we keep it as every bad shot in there and good one, it's a 172 carry to 177. Yep. Peak height is the same on average. And the spin is slightly more with the AP1. Okay. 
Okay. At five seven. And there's the degree almost extra 0 0.6 degree extra launch, 17 over 16.4. Higher launch, slightly higher spin, same peak height, slightly shorter distance. But now I'm gonna move the numbers because I don't want a 167, a 165 carry, a 168. The first three shots, wasn't it? Yeah. It was really, uh... So if we take them out. Again, we see same peak. We see one yard extra height in peak height now. We see a potential as well. I'm 34, 234 peak heights in there yeah. on the decent hits compared to an average of 32. So 30 to a, so. If you imagine, if we hit two shots on a course and I hit one at 30 peak height and one at 34, mm. that's where you're going to see. I mean, that's four yards difference in peak height. We're going to see that. Yeah, yeah, you're going to go, wow, that's higher. Yeah. Um, again, if you hit enough shots in comparison, I reckon you'll see that it is very close. It's interesting though, isn't it? Because we would call it higher where it's actually only averaging one yard higher. The launch again is 0 0.7, nearly one degree up. Yep. Um, the average spin now is almost the same, almost 100 revs in it, 5.6 to 5.2. Which is good. Yeah, I which like is that. because it, I need it to be my five iron, really. Yeah. That's what I need. And then it's 176 to 177. It is my five iron. It's my five iron that goes a bit higher. Yeah. It's, a, it's what fitting is about. It's a perfect fit. Doesn't mean I won't change it because we always change our opinions and our feels and all the rest of it. So basically, it's the same club, but with a potential to go a bit higher and launches a bit higher. Mm. And I want that. It's no different to what I saw when I tested it out in Dawlish. It does pretty much exactly the same, it just goes up a little bit more. And then when I look at it, it makes me feel like I want to hit it more. Like, I want to hit it as much as I hit my um, rinky dinks at the minute. And that might be just because it's new, but I do feel like because of the extra height I can get, I can I could sling draw. So I feel like I could do this shot more with it, look. So that's trying to hit a draw ball. So I've just turned it the other way onto the flag. Okay. And that way to me, I'll do one more. I feel like I can go loads faster this way. Yeah. Do you feel like you can go faster one way more than another? Uh, yeah, I feel like I can go faster swinging into out more. Yeah. So that's me trying to draw it and hit it flatter. Yeah. That's not the best hit and that's still big for me for a five. Six. So I reckon I might, it'd be interesting to see what happens with the peak height with those, but I don't ever feel I would really hit that shot. If I wanted to hit that shot all day, I might as well just hit my 23. Yeah. So look, they are going as high, 34 the last two, and that's a 182, 183 carry totaling nearly to 200 yards. So if I want to carry it 180 to a 195 flag, I, that shot's in me. Yeah. I'm impressed that they're going as high. And they still launched up. So I've got a question then. So I, I just feel like this offers more options. So why, so we talk about the um, giving people as much spin as possible. Yeah. With all that being said, so basically what we're saying is that the club, really it doesn't matter what's written on the bottom of the club, no. it's what the delivery of loft that we've got for it, yeah? Yeah. So why would, why would we not fit more people into the, say, a whole set of AP1s, but their mindset is that their eight iron is actually a seven iron, mm -hmm. their nine iron is actually an eight iron, and this is where now a lot more gap wedges are being sold in sets. So 48 degree gap wedge in the AP1 is basically the pitching wedge that you're using in your blades. So there's a few ways of thinking about this, I think. So look how extreme I've had to go in my set for this. I've got to have two six irons for this to work. Yeah. The average person watching a video who is just being seduced by the seven iron going further yeah. 
and I've fitted for years and you see it, oh look that 7 iron is 10 yards further, well, it's not, it's just a 6 iron and then yeah. we're going to have to have a big discussion now at each end yeah. and your 9 iron which is now spinning like an 8 iron when we get it out there on the dew is going to go like a 7 iron, so how many wedges do you want? Yeah. Oh you don't want many wedges because you, like, so this is the conversation, you know it, oh I've got a budget, it's fine, we've all got budgets and I want to spend this, cool but I want tight list, yeah. or I want tailor made, or I want ping. You think, well, okay, but if you're gonna go the club that you want, say this one, mm -hmm. you're gonna need, be very careful at each ends, which often means you need extra clubs, and you're saying you've got a budget, so like, what? Okay, so what I'm getting at then is, is let's say you come for a fitting, yeah. and we fit you into... But you're right, it doesn't matter what's written on the bottom. That's what I mean. So basically, what I'm getting at here is, let's say if you get, let's say I fitted you into a set of Mizzou, um, a set of Titleist MBs, yeah, and you went from, let's say six iron to wedge in the M, in the MB, yeah, okay. What we could actually do is take you, put you actually in an AP one set, yeah, and fit you gap wedge to seven iron, yeah. So you've basically got the same set, but so where I totally agree, totally agree. How many fitters are brave enough to do that because you've got to persuade your customer that they can't have the set that they think they have and then make Do you see what I mean? Yeah. I work with custom fit. Big conversation. Do you want proper conversations or do you want to sell clubs? Yeah. I'll tell you now, probably 80% of the people who come with custom fit want to be very, they don't want freaky looking sets. They want a pitching wedge or sand wedge to a five or four iron. Yeah. You start saying we're going to stop at a seven iron and persuade them it's a six, even though it's right, that's like yes, do it. But like, I reckon you could do that because the people coming to see you are coming for your expertise. Mm -hmm. But you ain't gonna get that in the golf stores where they're like, that's a tough conversation. And, and at the end of the day, nothing's different. They've got all the same. It's just you've got to persuade them to be different. But what could be like? Let's look at that then. What would what what would so you're you're convinced at the moment that this one here is is going to help your 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 game a little bit. It's a better it five iron for me because it's it gonna, gives me a bit more height. Correct. So you've made a decision that that's going to work better for your game at this moment in time. That yeah. might change. Yeah. So what would convince you to make the decision right the way through? Well, as soon as a club doesn't go in the air, I've got no problem popping a seven or a six iron in the air. So it's the only the only decision would be based on purely that. So it's speed and popping up, isn't it? So for instance, when I teach, it was very interesting when we went on the cruise. Yeah. Um, my dance partner had a strong seven iron, which okay. he's calling a seven iron. Yeah. Isn't going very high. Yeah. I give him my seven iron, which is blade and not friendly, goes higher and further. Okay. Because he's seeing his seven iron as a seven iron, it's a six iron, and he's wondering why it's going a bit low. Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like yeah how sorry. many of your students struggle to pop a seven iron in the air? Well, they all get a seven iron in the air, so mm. why would you give them a club that pops it even more in the air? Mm. They want to hit it further, so you can trick them with this. Mm. It's no different. You're just changing the loft. So you're giving them a six iron in the seven iron clothes. I'm just going to move because you keep putting them right in front of your face now, and we want to see the... your lovely face. <laughs> Shave this morning. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so we're actually having, we're not going anywhere. No. This is what I, so but ma what manufacturers happens, but sorry, say, but what happens is when you get to the ends of your set where you have no more options. Yeah. So similar to your driver, it's not as if you can have another driver. Mm. Then you might find it does help because my dance partner who can get a seven iron up in the air easily, well he's got a five iron that's a four iron. Mm -hmm. Can't get that up in the air yeah. at all. Yeah. So he would be better off having two six irons like me. Yeah. You try selling two six irons in your next custom fit, it will be challenging depending on the person's like desires of what they're spending their money on. Um, I reckon, again, you could do it, but yeah, this is where I see when you get past seven irons in the future, this going. The number. Yeah. So if that had a loft on it, and everyone knew what the seven iron loft was, do you see what I mean? You yeah. wouldn't choose a club on, it's you would choose on, and this is, I mean, Titleist want this, that's why. Titleist are happy to give you sets to try and fit with, because mm. they understand, like, they, they told me the other day, if they didn't know the exact number, 
but it was like a high percentage of tour players that there isn't many basically who have one set of irons anymore. They've all blending, blending, yeah. But blending in the amateur market is hard because it needs discussion more time, and then that's really down to the quality of custom fit. And between mm. you and me, you know the quality of fit really isn't that high. Certainly, what we see. Mm. So you'll know. Like, why would I push this one? When I've got options, it goes high enough. I've got an eight and a nine. Mm. I'm equally happy to hit seven, eight, or nine, plus a six. Five iron, I'm not as happy to hit because I'm now losing loft and a little bit of height. Mm. So I've literally gone to a hybrid without going to a full hybrid. Yeah. It's the ends that I think it makes the bigger difference. In fact, often for people, giving them more loft in the middle and down the set helps them more because. They pop it in the air, they get, to, they get it in the air, better mm. flights, which keeps it going a little further for them. I like that. Mm. It's a fire it's, line, isn't it? Well, it is a fire line. I might it start your hacking fire away line. at that yeah, to make it a five. Yeah, chip that into a five. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, thanks for watching, let me know what you think. Two six signs, definitely enjoying it at the minute. Obviously, golf's faddy. I'm faddy with golf and my equipment. I mean, far less than some. But I'm, I'm certainly not afraid to try something new. I'm happy to search because I feel it makes me a better coach, better fitter, better understanding of equipment. And it helps me then try and pass any of my learnings on to people who maybe haven't got that time to go and do what I'm doing with two six sides. Post comments down below. As always, we will look forward to seeing you tomorrow.